Hello guys, welcome to the Cricket Digest channel. As we all know, IPL 2019 so far has been in the news for more because of umpires than anyone else. Umpires came under real scrutiny when they reverted a no-ball call in a match between Chennai Super Kings and Rajasthan Royals. Many captains including Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma have openly raised the concerns over umpiring standards in this IPL. After this incident, many people demanded that umpires should be penalized for such game changing mistakes. Do you think they should be penalized? Before moving any further, let's take a look at the game from umpires perspective. In the era of T20 cricket where the game moves very fast, umpires have a fraction of second to spot and make their decisions. With the fast bowlers turning in hard and delivering the ball at 140 kilometers per hour, it becomes very difficult to spot many things in such a short span of time. They have to observe bowlers foot for no balls. They have to look out for possible man killing attempt. Once the ball is released, they will have to look out for the white ball, LBW and caught behind. Simultaneously, they will have to look out for the bowler approaching the danger area as well. This list goes on and they have many more things to concentrate. With so many tasks in their hand, one can fairly say that it's a tough job to concentrate on. But when it comes to players perspective they feel that it is unfair if a wrong decision of an umpire affects the result of the game This year's IPL is the best example for such decisions and captains were right to voice out their anger Now let's take a look at how umpiring has come along with the game Cricket has witnessed many great umpires such as Dicky Bird David Shefford Simon Toffel and many more but none of them were able to achieve 100% accuracy As and when the television coverage became mainstream, umpires mistakes were easy to identify which otherwise would have gone unnoticed. Runout was one of the toughest decisions and TV umpire was introduced for runouts and stumped in 1992 in a test match between India and South Africa. Sachin Tendulkar became the first batsman to be dismissed by referring to the third umpire. This system eliminated the umpiring errors of stumped and runout. However, umpiring howlers were not eliminated completely. LBW and caught behinds were the ones where the umpires did a lot of mistakes. After the infamous Sydney test between India and Australia in 2008, where umpiring errors had a significant role in the result, the decision review system was introduced on a test basis in 2008 and was officially launched by the ICC in 2009. Decision review system gave the power to the players to review the on-field umpire's decision to TV umpire and it has eliminated major howlers. According to the statistics of reviews taken in test matches between 2009 and 2016, on an average, 26% of the on-field umpires' decisions have been overturned. Stats suggest that umpire Asad Raf was the most accurate umpire with 77.2% accuracy. This shows that even at the international level, an umpire's accuracy is not more than 80%. However, Data also shows that only 26% of the reviews taken by the players are successful meaning 74% of the times on field umpires decision stands from these data we can infer that neither umpires nor players get every decision right this explains the complexity involved in the game introduction of the decision review system has more or less eliminated umpiring howlers related to dismissals however we are witnessing many other howlers regarding no ball and white ball calls do you think the technology can address this issue hope it does and wish that players have none other than themselves to blame for their defeat do you guys still feel that the umpires should be penalized for their mistakes do let me know in the comment section